This is the table where we bring parties together. Bringing people around the table to get to a resolution is what Senator Karen Spilka believes she does best. And I see you have candy. Yes, I do. I believe people are happier when their stomachs are full. Now, the former social worker and mediator and current Senate budget chief is preparing to take over the gavel in the Senate. When you think about becoming Senate president, what goes through your mind? It really is an uh, awe-inspiring responsibility. It's exciting. It's a little scary, of course, but it's exciting. Spilka says she brings her life experiences to shape her priorities. Her grandfather was an immigrant from Russia. Her father suffered from mental illness, and her sister had Down syndrome and later battled Alzheimer's disease. The vulnerable, those that may not have the strongest voice, that this to me is what government is about. But after the sexual harassment scandal involving former Senate President Stan Rosenberg's husband Brian Hefner and the scathing ethics report that followed, Spilka has another immediate responsibility. What can you do to restore trust in the Senate? Well, I believe that we need to have a little bit more transparency here. We have a strong uh, policy against harassment and discrimination. There are some changes we can make. I'm looking forward to meeting with the staff of the Senate to let them know that um, times are changing. And I asked Senator Spilka if she'll continue her predecessor's practice of giving committee chairs independence. She says her leadership style is collaborative. She believes in empowering senators in their committees, and she'll announce her leadership team, though, in January.